Alright guys, so basically here's what I'm talking about. I inserted the string from, you know, down here, pulled it through, and then took it up over. Because if we had, you know, put in from this side and, you know, the normal way, or the more seen way, we would have had too steep of an angle here and the string would basically catch the base here back of the bridge. But right now, down here, we actually have, you know, some room to work with. So if you can see here, if I just, you know, go in here, if I could make the camera focus a little bit more. Okay. If I press down here, you can see we have some wiggle room and that's what we're looking for. If we were going to put it through the other way, we would have to steep of an angle and it would catch on the base here. But it's not doing that right now, so we're basically good. So I'm going to install the strings, the remaining strings, the, the same way here. And when I get it, you know, when I've stretched out the strings and tuned it to pitch multiple times, we're going to come in and we're going to take a look at what we have to do from there. So um, let me restring the rest of the guitar here, guys, and uh, I will just bring you in when I'm basically, you know, done with that. So stay tuned for it, guys. All right, guys, so um, I'm basically back here and um, I have now strung the guitar up and we're ready to, you know, take a look at where we're at with the with the truss rod, how the action is, if it has changed after we've put the strings on. And, you know, when we've checked that, we're basically ready to go down here at the bridge and set the intonation and, you know, get this guitar playing and ready to go. Um, as I said in the previous video, I installed the strings, you know, in this manner right here, because, as I said, um, if I were to install it, you know, basically like you normally would do, or the most seen way, you would have, you know, inserted the strings from this uh, angle here and, you know, pulled it through and just had it go up here and up to the nut. But if I have done that on this guitar, we would have had too steep of an angle. So it would have been more like this and the string would have, you know, basically it would have been catching the base side or the, the base plate here on the back of the um, the bridge saddle basically causing some you know in the end causing some intonation problems but also causing some um, you know slight ringing tones or something because the string would vibrate off of that and then onto the guitar um, so I just decided to install the strings you know, by inserting it this way from the front here and then pulling it out and over and up to the knot. And this basically works just fine. And the the tailpiece has, you know, some kind of arc here. So it just has its, you know, point where it takes off right here on the very, you know, very highest point and then just ramp up. And we have a good, we have a good amount of clearance here. I can pull down it and none of the strings here are basically touching. So that's just very fine and we can you know continue from there um, you know the strings we put on are 11 to 49 and I don't recall uh, if those were the same you know gauge we had on before but we're going to check that the um, the neck is where it's supposed to be and I remember last time I set it up I I had to set it between uh, 0 0.008 uh, and 0 0.010 so somewhere uh, in the ballpark of that and uh, I did that in order to you know get the guitar playing without too much bossing and basically you know eliminating all the bus and um, you know let me just take my my straight edge here and we're going to use the 24.75 inch scale here and I'm just going to place it in the middle of the fretboard, just getting it to, you know, sit there without tilting. Um, so let me just try and adjust you down here so we can take a better look at it. Um, 
hopefully you will be able to see what I see. So basically right now you're not able to see the gap. Uh, you're able to see a little light shine through over here and on the inlay over here, but not on the bare wood. But, you know, let me take this, let me see right here, let me take this feeler gauge right here, right there, 0 0.008, and let me basically insert it here at the 8th fret and see where we're at. And this feeler gauge slides under, you know, barely without touching. So if I switch to, you know, this right here, the point 010, um, and insert it again, it slides under, but it touches the the straight edge a bit more. So we have roughly around 0 0.010 um, of relief in the neck here and it's fine, it's all fine because the guitar is playing as it should and you know as some of you might recall from from when we you know assessed the guitar and, and we went in and, and took a look at where the, the strings were at. The E string was down at you know uh, 0.75 millimeters, uh, really low, and basically buzzing all around up here on the first five frets. Um, and the E string was set down to something like point, uh, 1.6, 1.5 ish around it, and you know that just caused the guitar to play really bad. And no, you know it's not comfortable to play in that way. So um, I adjusted that and everything was basically good from there. Um, so now we know that the neck is where it's supposed to be and we don't have to go in and adjust the truss rod. Um, we're just going to take a quick look here at the, um, the action as I said and we're just going to see um, basically where we're at with it. So I don't reckon that it has been, you know, it's been changed. Uh, so you can see here, we have the low E string basically resting at 2.0 millimeters. And I believe it should be fine there. It feels fine when I play it and I have no bossing. Um, so, and you know, basically we, we want the strings to, to have a little bit of, you know, a ramp. So slightly higher here altering into slightly lower over here. So that's also why I have, you know, set the um, the low E string to a little under 1.75. So basically between 1.5 and 1.75. So we are right at the 1.6. And you know, I will settle with this for now, with this string action here and Basically, when the owner comes back, I'm going to hand him the guitar and, you know, going to let him play it and see what he thinks about it because it has changed considerably uh, since he brought it in because I don't know why he adjusted, you know, the treble side so low because it was, yeah, almost unplayable. Um, so I don't really see any point in doing that, but okay, it all depends. But he's going to play it and we're going to see what he thinks about it. Um, all right, so now we basically know that everything is adjusted and the only thing I need to adjust now is the intonation down here. And we're going to do that right now, guys. So um, we're going to do it in plain position. So let me reposition the camera so you get, you know, a good view of both the guitar and the adjustment and the tuner to watch my, my progress. So I'll be back. Okay guys, so we're basically ready now. Um, I have aligned my tuner here. So you should be basically be able to see what I'm doing here. Um, I have the guitar in playing position. 
I have my you know screwdriver I know that it will fit um, so we're going to check the tuning Okay, so everything's good there. I'm going to start with the low E string. I'm going to play the open note. I'm going to play the harmonic. I'm going to fret the 12th fret. And the E is basically spot on. So we're going to move on. And we might have to move the, you know, the B string back a little bit. So we're just going to insert it. We're going to take it back here. Just going to take it back a little bit and see where we're at. You know, retune. Tune up to the note. We're going to check it again. Still a little bit, so we're going to, you know, adjust it again. See if this helps. I'm going to check the 12th fret, and we're good. So moving on to the G string. Checking the harmonic to a fret. This one has to come come back also a bit. So we're just going to do that. Make sure we give it a little bit here and see what happens. Let's check it again. So I have to come back a little bit in order to get it where we need it. We're going to give it a little adjustment, check the tuning. Tune it up to the note and check it again. We give it a little more, maybe half of a turn. Basically, just check again. Check the 12th fret, and we're spot on. So everything's fine. Moving on to the D string. Checking open, checking the harmonic, checking the 12th fret. Have to come back a little bit, a little bit. We're going to give it just a little. Check the tuning. We're going to check the 12th fret. Okay, I'm going to leave it there and see how it turns out. The E string seems fine. The low E string here. Maybe we can try and move it forward a little bit to 
see what it does. You can always move it back. Maybe try and move it back to where we had it before. Just basically see if it changes. Check it again. And it seems fine. Go back and check the tuning of the strings. Okay, check the chords. Everything seems fine, it sounds fine. So I would basically, you know, call this it, guys. And you know, the guitar has come quite a long way since we got it in here and we have adjusted it so that it now plays as it should. Um, and we'll have to see what the owner thinks about it. And basically, you know, take it, take it from there and see what happens. Everything's fine here. I will let it settle for a little while, maybe come back, you know, play it a little bit more, check the intonation again, and basically we should be set to go here, guys. Nothing more to see. It plays great and it sounds great. So, um, yeah, my, John, my job sorry, is basically done here, so I'm quite satisfied with that. Um, yeah, perhaps something that might you know, be a good addition at some point. The knot could, you know, use a new, a new one here because it's kind of worn very low and it's dinged up and battered some places. But uh, you know, we can always fix that later if, you know, it becomes a problem. But other than that, this axe is ready to rock even more. So um, again, guys, thanks for watching, and um, I will see if I can come up with a few more videos in you know, the next couple of days here, but stay tuned and thanks for watching guys.